Hey guys, welcome back to Chariot Palmistry. My name is Sulab Jain, and in this video, we are going to be having a look at the hands of the Solana co founder, Anatoly Yakovenko. And this is a video that a lot of you guys have requested. So I went through the internet, looked at a lot of videos of this guy, just to find a picture of his hands that are clear. I finally found one. It's not the best, but it's, I think, good enough that we can work with. So what we're going to be doing in this video is making some predictions on where I think Solana is going to be heading just by getting a handle on this guy's energy. In addition to that, I'm also going to be comparing his hands to some of the other crypto CEOs. So we'll get a gauge of how good Solana is and if it's a really, really good long term project. But first, let me just show you what his hands actually look like here. Now this is actually, believe it or not, one of the best videos of his hands that I could find. I went through maybe one or two hours worth of videos of him, and he's generally a very expressive speaker who moves his hands around a lot. And therefore, finding like a clear picture of his hands wasn't easy. This is the best that we've got, and I'll color in or draw in the lines as we see them. But the first thing we're going to note is this guy's got a good strong thumb and a very good pinky. The reason that's important is generally when you want to look at the hands of CEOs, you want to make sure that they've got a strong or a long pinky finger. That's a sign of somebody who's extremely intelligent and also very good in business. That's one of the key skills in seeing if a project ever takes off. The other thing you want to see is if somebody has a good long thumb. And that's generally a sign of somebody with good leadership abilities. You see, the pinky gives you intelligence, the thumb gives you the ability to execute what you think of. You need both of these to be successful. The other thing we'll point out over here is that he's got a very long ring finger. Now the ring finger is relative to the middle of the tip of the middle finger. And when it is long, it's a sign of high testosterone. So this guy knows his stuff. He's got the intelligence to pull off what he wants to do. I think he's got the fire in his belly to do it as well. I'll switch over to another photo of his hands to show two other things that I've found over here. The first is that he's got a good karma line starting at a very young age. And generally, the good karma line is a sign of not having to struggle in order to achieve success in the world. It's basically the universe putting its wind into your cells and pushing you forward in life. The other thing I think that's really interesting on his hands is he has a very late retirement. And that means that he's in this project for the long run. Unlike some of the other CEOs I'll be showing you in a second, <clears throat> uh, those guys will be leaving their project in a couple years. Anatoly, on the other hand, he'll be around long, long term. So what I'm basically trying to say is that this guy's energy is really, really good. He's very intelligent and he has the leadership skills to pull off his dream project. He's going to be around for a very long time and there looks to be very little struggles that he's going to have facing it. I actually think this is, as far as I can tell, the best hands of a CEO that I've seen for a long, long time. Now having said that, let's make some predictions on where the Solana price is going to be moving basically over about the next year or so. So my first prediction is that over the month of April, the price of Solana should be correcting, along with most of the crypto market in general. In May, I'm expecting a major price rise to take place, which should go on for a few months. And then by mid-August, I'm expecting a price fall. But that's not going to be a permanent fall. It'll be going on for a couple weeks. And then by September time, we should notice the price rising again. In the middle of January of 2025, I think the next minor correction should take place, which should be short-lived, maybe about a week or two. And then in early Feb, the price should rise again, with an exit somewhere at around about April, May of next year. I'm actually tentatively timing this at mid-April to middle of May. Now, when I say exit Solana, keep in mind, I think this is a long, long-term project. So if you want to be in it for the long term, then maybe not even exit at all. I want to show you the hands of Alex Mashinsky. This guy was the founder of Cell or Celsius. And I did a video on his hands a couple years ago. 
and this guy, oh, actually looking at his hands, I made the prediction that his project isn't going to be around for the long term. And what's happened is not only is Celsius not around, but Alex is actually in jail at the moment. So one thing you want to look at with projects is, is this a long term thing or is it a short term thing? And Solana looks to be long, long term. So that guys is where I'm going to be ending this video. I think Solana is fantastic. I think the energy behind the founder is fantastic and seems to get the tick of approval for me. All right, if you guys have any questions on this, put them in the comment section below. Thanks a lot.